Hey guys, this is just a, another UCI again, built for a trade show, so not a lot of practical use, but you may want to uh, grab a couple of the elements out of here if you ever need them. So this one had a couple of cool things. Uh, there's some graphing features down here. So this is using the example in the help file for using easy SVG to graph some lines but it's doing a couple of extra bits and pieces in the uh, background. You can see that back line is, is not smoothed and the, uh, the one in the front is. And even though it's not smoothed, it does look a lot better. It's more curvier than the, uh, the example in the, the help file because it actually uses the curve two function in easy SVG, um, which is a little bit complex because you have to calculate all of the control points for the Bezier curves so that the line still flows through the actual data points. So there's a little bit of work going on in the back end um, for that, but if you ever need to graph anything, you can grab them. There's a couple of scripts here, slightly different, so I'll just, uh, can... yeah, that's the um, back one there. Now, you can see you can turn the actual smoothing on or off here. So that's the smoothing on. They both have slightly different window sizes um, in the scripts just so they um, weren't completely at the top of each other. You can see there you can turn the smoothing on or off and you can adjust the, the fill. Uh, that one, the purple one, has like a fill gradient, a slight gradient uh, top to bottom, and then the other one here um, has a, a left to right on there. Um, again, yeah, you can see that working there. This one, it's a little bit inefficient because you can't, when you fill these lines in easy SVG, to do it, you actually have to create a line from the zero point up to the line, and then you make the line, and then you have to come back down a zero point to fill it. So we didn't kind of like the look of that, so we ended up actually we're rendering it twice. Once the uh, the one that's actually filled has a line, but we've um, set it to zero uh, width, I think, and then we've actually drawn another line on top of it. So uh, just to make it look better but uh yeah it's slightly inefficient to uh to render but hey um if you need it feel free to grab it this one's quite cool as well this is just uh literally a svg that we're drawing so if i turn that yeah you can see there so it's just literally drawing that with um easy svg this is quite cool you can Oops, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it. So, um, and we were using this actually to read the volume of a connected laptop via USB. And then kind of showing off that if your laptop's down, you can hit push volume and it will turn the laptop up. Um, and the way we're doing that, it's not connected at the moment, it's just emulating. But the way we're doing that is using the HID media control. And then there's a little script in here that reads the, the gain. And when you push it, it basically holds down the uh, the volume up until it uh, it hits a hundred percent. So again, you know, uh, looks cool. Don't know how useful it is. And there's a couple of CSS things if you don't know how to do asymmetrical borders and things. Um, that's in the CSS. So there's some. Um, in here we've got a little bit of CSS for changing the uh, icon vol the uh, volume icon if you don't know how to do that you know adjusting some text there's some CSS for the fader um, so that's a left button right button which has the asymmetrical asymmetrical border radius there you can see there there's the 
the fader with the icon changing. There is a slight gradient too that we've applied to these full boxes via CSS. The shadow I actually uh, did. You can actually do it in PowerPoint. Um, I sort of drew it out in PowerPoint and hit shadow on there, and I've just hidden it behind these these buttons. Um, so you can't do the shadow in there, but then there is a slight gradient applied to these boxes just to make them look a little bit nicer. But yeah, feel free to uh, steal anything you want from there. Hope it's of some use.